Hi, my name is Janet Skinner. Sometimes in life we need a purpose to continue. And back in the early 1990s, I was looking for a reason to live, if you like. Um, just happened by accident one day that I saw that Jibung Station, which is in Queensland, was going to be demolished and replaced. So I decided to paint it. And during the 1990s, I painted 104 railway scenes and that kept me going. As I sat on the platform and railway sidings, old people would come over and speak to me and tell me about life in the good old days. These were elderly people. It transpired that many of them were born in the early 1900s. I wrote down their names and phone numbers and I went back and interviewed them. There's a series of some 35 railway tapes that I'm making of the interviews that I recorded in New South Wales and Queensland. I'm not a journalist. I've got no background training in interviewing. And I really hope you enjoy these films. Um, I hope they bring laughter to many and insight into as what life used to be like. And please bear with me. I had fun doing them and I hope you have fun listening to them. Thank you so much. So, um, it's Donny. Donny, do you like to be called Donny or Donald? Don. Don? Don, yeah. Right. right. Lansborough. Any, tell me any memories you've got of Lansborough at the moment, you know. Rain. Pardon? Rain. Rain? <laughs> Why rain? Yeah. Well, it never stopped raining up there. Really? And then days. That was a busy place, actually, because uh, the buses used to run coordinated to Mullaney and Caloundra right. in them days. Yeah. And, and nearly everyone travelled by train and bus in them days, you know, for four days. Yeah. Not many had cars. Yeah. And uh, it was quite lively there. Yeah. And where did you go off to Lansborough? I went on, I passed by night I was exam, and then I went on the relief. Yeah. And that means you go all over the place, does it? It, it did, yeah. 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 Uh, the Tell first, me a little bit uh, about that. Did they just phone you up and say you've got to go such and such? I was, today? Yeah, I was just going to mention that. Yeah, when I passed the exam, they, they phoned up from Brisbane. Would I be on the relief? Uh, it was acting. You know, they call it acting them days till you really got a permanent job. Right. And I said, yeah, like a fool. I said, yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, uh, we want someone at Tanda. Tanda. Do you know where Tanda no, is? No, where's Tanda? It's up uh, between Traveston and uh, Wundum. Little joint, eh? For see, in them days there was a signal cabin every maybe three miles. Right, so I said, right, eh? What's Tanda like? So oh, you'll find out when you get there. There's yeah. a tent, eh? You can sleep in the tent, yeah. and that was it. And yes. nothing. Yes. Take your own bed, take your own utensils. And you slept in the tent? Oh, yeah. And what about Good cooking one. and all that? You had, to I had a little climber stove, I had to you cook. Many that. Yeah. And what was your job at this station? Yeah, it was just a signal cabin, more just or less. Hmm. Cross trains and stuff like that. And, and I had that. Six live? months I was there. Six months in the tent? You learned yeah. pretty quick then. Oh, shocking. Now, how do you spell that place where you were then? Tanda. T A N D U R. Right. And what's that? North, North is it? North Queensland, is it? Oh, no, no. This side of Gimby. Right. I don't know that name, actually. Tanda? No. no. You wouldn't know. So, where's that? Where's that? Where, what line is that on then? It's the North Coast. North Coast. Yeah. Oh. So if you went there now, you'd find it'd be just a big sign up. Yeah. Nothing else. So you slept in this tent? Oh, yeah. And just operated the signals? Did you have to get up in the middle of the night and stuff, or just during the day? Time? No, there was two of us there. Two we of worked two shifts there. Yeah. yeah. But it was good money. Good money. Etc. when I was went, went from about two pounds a week at Lansborough. Oh. Then suddenly get up there and work all the overtime or whatever we did. What sort of year do you think you were at Tanda? Oh, 47, about 50, 51. Like that, yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? So where did you go from Tanda? 
Uh, Is it a trip on the lake somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, it's six months at Bilbao and then uh, six, months? six months at Walloon, that's what it's rich. Barren, that's another one of my paintings. Is it? Yeah, I'll show you that in a little while. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's closed down too. Yeah, it's gone, demolished, taken away. Yeah. So, what did you do there? Was your operating signals and stuff? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was a little bit busy. I had a little bit of fruit mm. and parcels. And um, where did you live then? Where did you go? Under the tent. It's still the tent? <laughs> yeah. Their tent? You didn't have your own Railway tent. Yeah. Railway tent. Yeah. Well, they were generous. Yeah. Um, and you have to go, how did you manage cooking your food on a little stove like that? Oh, you can do things. It was a double burner, actually. How did you manage burner. it? What about keeping your stuff cold? And that? Well, at Panda, you didn't. You, the meat, I organised meat from Yippie. You yeah. come down on the train. Yeah. As soon as it arrived, you have to cook it. And what about your milk and cheese and stuff like that? I think, well? I think it must have used condensed milk, probably, though. Yeah. The bread must have got a tail. Oh. <laughs> do you think it was pretty healthy? Oh, yeah, it was all right, uh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they no cars much in them days. So. No. So we went to, not, you went, then you went to, after Beer Barham, you went to? A place called Walloon. Walloon. Walloon, just outside Ipswich. Another right. tent. Another tent. But a little bit more civilised. There was a little bit of a town there. Yeah. As at Beer Barham, it was a little town too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And after Walloon, then where to? Uh, oh, I don't know. I, I think I was... Uh, put on the relief permanent. Right. So it, then all over the shop. Yeah. Yeah. So we, in the Brisbane district. Did I'm you say about. you were married? You were about that? You no, married? I was single then. Yeah. You were single? Yeah. So when did you meet your wife at Strath Pine? Or? No, at uh, Pomona. Oh, Pomona. Yeah. That's another one. So did you spend any time at Karoi? Yes. Did you? Yeah, when we were first married. I was there for about 18 months. Can we talk a little bit about Karoi? Because that's yeah. another one of my paintings. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you that in a moment. Yeah. Um, Karoi. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Karoi was fairly busy too, because it was uh, coordinated down to the uh, to the coast. What sort of what sort of town is Karoi? Is it a busy? I don't know much about Karoi at all. I just went there for the day and sketched it. It's a nice town, town actually. Yeah. 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 They've got a hospital. There's a hospital, a dentist, right. and a now, doctor. What year were you there, Karoi, approximately, do you think? If my wife was still alive, she, she could tell you. Did you meet your wife there, at Karoi? No, at the moment. At the moment. No, no, right. we, we lived at Karoi. Right. Um, so if you, were, if, you, if you met your wife and you was at Pomona, can you remember when that was? Or not? 54, I think, we got married. So in well, 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 yeah, I worked this out. Was, we were married 40 years right. in 94. Right, so that so be 54. 54 right? yeah. And you met her just before you went to Karoi. Mm. Mm. So it was about 54, 55 Karoi, was you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's right. okay. So, talk, visualise yourself back there in Karoi. Mm -hmm. What was sort of the industry in the area then? Do you know? What was just the, mainly dairy, I think. Dairy, was it? Way back, yeah. yeah. I haven't really got any. Yeah, I think it was doing that. And did people at that time still use the train to travel a lot? Was it mainly passengers? Was uh, it? No, it was, oh well, it was a country town, of course, so, yeah, they, they did use the train, but not not to any great extent. Right. This, this, is this like you call a siding shed, is it? On yeah, the right yeah well, we used to call them good sheds. Good shed. What, mm -hmm. would that sh what would that shed have been used for in that time you were there? You know? uh, or anything to come in on the wagons. And, and weren't delivered straight away. Right. They would unload into the good shed. Okay. And that would be all produce and that sort of stuff, would uh, it? All building materials? Yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And beer and whatever. Right. Yeah. Way back then most most stuff came by rail. Yes. You know, there was no transport right. as such. Yeah. There's a little waiting area here in the picture, isn't there? These blue trolleys, they would be used just to what? They were barrows, weren't they? That's yeah, four-wheel barrow, yeah. yeah. Just to load stuff on there, yeah. or, or unload out of the train there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just doesn't look Karoi to me, but anyhow. It is. Yeah. Does it look different well, now than you, when you, you were there? You were there when this the was, signal camera used to be there. This was, on this, that end? this was done about 1993. 
This is like a door here now, I think, like used a corrugated be, door. Used to be a signal cabin. Used to be a signal yeah. cabin. That's why it looks different That's for right. you now. Yeah. So behind this metal door here in the middle um, was a signal. Would that have been all windows, would it? Like signal cabin? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like windows there. Windows, yeah. yeah, like square I think windows. there might have been a little door there too, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Right, so that's that's a long time ago. Yeah, it's changed a bit, hasn't it? So was you living in a house by the time you got yeah, to the Yeah, we had a railway house. Yeah, yeah a railway house. Mm. We so rented one. We didn't get it for free. No. Yeah. So what, what position were you then? I was assistant station master. Assistant station Well, actually, they called it a roster, assistant roster. station master. Right. I did work three days at Kauri and two days at Jumundi. Right. And did my wife was terrified. She? When I used to work at night. Was she? Why was she frightened? Oh, I was just terrified, I suppose, being on her own. Oh, she was terrified, not for oh, you, yeah. for herself. Yeah, well, that's unexpected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Matter of so, fact, we used to ride a push bike, and if you, you know that coast at all? No. Pretty pretty hilly sort of place. So you used to ride around right, that from thing. Croy to Yamundi. You used to ride on a push bike? Yeah, middle of the night. Did you? Yeah. Gee. Yeah. Did you could did you could have had lights sort of on your bike? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What we call a dynamo light, isn't it? Oh, I forget now. Could have been there. Yeah. Or either that or a torch. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. from there we went to Gundawindi. Right. On promotion. Right. Okay. And then after Gundawindi. After Gundawindi we went to oh, I'll lose you now. That's okay. <laughs> Mangalala. Mangalala. Yeah. Where's that? It's out uh, the other side of Mitchell. Right, no, that's fine. Between right. Mitchell and Morgan. Okay. Matter of fact, I was there 18 months and I didn't know there was a creek there oh. that had any water in it. Oh. And uh, lately, they, when they had all the floods out there, yeah. they kept saying Mungalala Creek was flooding. Yeah. Yeah. How, do you, how did you find all this travelling around? Did it bother you, your wife? It wasn't Lavina, yeah, because she had to do all the packing. We started to speak about um, Strathpine. Now you arrived there in 1975. 1975. Yeah. Until April 88. 88. April 88. Yeah. Okay. Um, Darling, tell me a little bit <coughs> about Strathpine and how it's changed. Well, when we first went there, it was virtually a little country town country station. Uh, if you've been there lately, you know there's full of car parks now. Yes. Everywhere. There was no car park when we first went there. Right. People just parked in the streets. Right. And, and what about Westfield Shopping Centre? That obviously wasn't there. That wasn't there, no. That was the uh, was Bowling Green right. and a shop all the way. That's all that was there. Right. And um, there was a tennis court, you reckon, maybe opposite the... It was, um, yeah, behind the station master's house. With the tennis court. Right, where was the station master's house? That's no longer there, is it? No, it's been pulled down. Just recently, though, was it? Or oh, no, no. no where we, else uh, was the station uh, master's house? It was there? right behind the station. Very convenient. Right, yeah. If there's anything right. went wrong, they say, knock on the door. Don, yeah. we want you. So, was you yeah. there as station master, was you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Was that your first posting as the station master? Oh, no. 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 no way back was Mangalala was the first right. one. Right, right. Um, yeah, so but they did eventually build a brick house mm -hmm. at Bray Park right. and then pulled the old place down. Right. Describe the um, station master's house for me just a little bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> made of wood. Oh yeah, yeah, wood, yeah, everything. Boars have been through all the floors. Right. But they're not practice, I don't think. Well, don't tell me. <laughs> don't uh, tell me then. Was it on still? But anyhow, when there was two power points. In oh, place. Only two. Two. That's yeah. all they would allow the railway. Would allow. Why? Why? Why only two? Why I don't know. I thought you'd be. Then, then they, they put it in construction. They didn't want you to use double adapters. Ridiculous. Were they paying for your electricity? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. why then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the deal. Oh. Uh, the station master provided with a free house in right. uh, in fuel, as they called it in them days. You must have had a job to manage with just two point, two power points in the house. Yeah, that's right. We had a double adapter, didn't we? we so you'd to. have had the fridge for one, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. And um, every time you wanted to use something, you'd have been unplugging things all the time. Just wouldn't about, you? Yeah. Unplugging there. Just about, yeah. So well, we actually, they, 
It should have been pulled out, shouldn't it? Yeah. Years before. Right. Yeah. And then when when I started asking for, for repairs, I'd estimate they spent 30000 Really? Doing it up. Yeah. You can't put 30000 in an old house yeah. and still have something. Did Coal you? dust used to fall down on the bed from the ceiling. Coal dust? Yeah. Where was the coal dust coming from? Well, from the steam trains that used to go past. And they've gone through, the coal dust gone through the roof? Well, over the years it accumulated, yeah, and got in the roof, and it used to fall down on the bed. Yeah. Unbelievable, I'll tell you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't live in the conditions we lived under. Yeah. That would be difficult, wouldn't it? You don't think about those things, you see, that's something I hadn't heard of before, that naturally, of course, steam trains passing every, what, probably, I don't know how many days, well, you were there after the steam trains, but... No, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There would have been a, probably about 40 a day, I think, going past there, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm you reckon? Reckon? Oh, yeah. And that would That's have all the North Coast trains go through there. Yeah. yeah. That would have caused a lot of dust and soot and everything. Yeah. And of course, it would have landed. It was a corrugated iron roof, would it have been? Oh, yeah. 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 And it would have gone through the ground, through the... Mm -hmm. Blown up under, wouldn't it? The ceiling it? was, uh, I think, uh, chamfer boards, I think. Right. And through the like, little joins in the ceiling, yeah. it would have come through. Yeah, come through the trains yeah. rattled by. Yeah. So it would have, in the wind, it would have blown But they did cheat it. They cheated the ceiling. That stopped that problem. But, yeah. but, yeah. but when they went to nail up the sheeting, they had to get up in the ceiling. Because that would have been all eaten out by right, wind ends. Yeah. I wonder what, I, what date the um, station master's house would have dated back from. Ooh, a long time. Would have been there. Do you reckon it was really old, do you reckon? Oh, yeah. 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 But I couldn't tell you how. No. On stilts, did you say? Yeah. With yeah. steps up? Could you walk underneath it? Oh, or yeah. Was it, yeah, you could walk underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, everyone used to leave their bikes under it. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. So you lived in there for the whole time that you were... No, no, no. They built a house at the Bray Park for me. Right. Uh, about three years before I retired. And then Brookfield. they pulled that one down there? Pulled it down to make a car park there. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't for the benefit of the station master, it was for so the more car parking. Talking about now, now's time then, was the station master's house on the same side of the railway as the council offices, or on the, on the other side of Brendale? Now, uh, when I Where, first moved yeah, it, so I can understand which side there of the was track on, on the uh, Gimpy Road side. Gimpy Road side. Yeah, well, on the eastern side of the B, wasn't it? Yeah. I think some people get confused. There is an old house on the opposite side too. Right. And they but I don't think it's a, ever was a railway house. Right. But if yeah. you ever go past the crossing there. Yes. Have a look at it. That's an old, I think that one's gone now, and yeah. I thought that was the railway it house. It always looked a typical railway it house. It did do, yeah. and that's recently gone, but yeah. that wasn't the railway house. Oh, right. no, 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 not so far as I know. No, that's good, that wasn't no. the one you were in anyway. No. All right, um, I understand there was an old air age shelter at Strathpond. Was that there when you were there? No. No, that no. must have gone. Williams Brother was one. Okay. Um, Sorry. That's okay, I've done two paintings of Strathpond. Um, this is the one of the waiting room mm -hmm. that, that was in wood, and the other one I don't know if I've got a picture of today. Yes, I have. Um, this was like ah yes, that's more like it. This was like metal concrete blocks, wasn't it? Is this this is waiting room on the other, the other side? Yeah. Ah, right. And this is the actual um, station, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. Yeah. And, Never uh, forget it. This is the signal, that, is this the signal box? That was all the signal cabin. Yeah. That was the signal cabin. all the leave up there. Okay. And there were three steps up from there into the signal cabin. Was there? When I went there, I was about 14 stone. Oh. After about three months, I was down to 12 stone. Right. Up and down the steps all Internal the time. Internal stairs. <coughs> yeah. Which you could yeah. go from this one to oh, this one. That's right. Yeah. This was pretty old with white ant by the time you were there too, was it, or not? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. it was surely old. It was the original station, I believe. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was, yes. It dates back quite some time, that, that part. We've taken this before the electric trains, apparently. No, no. Yeah. Um, ah. But I didn't put a lot of the wires in because it spoiled the picture. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, there were wires, there are wires going through there. Yeah, right. Well, the railway house was just directly behind. Right. It was just a roadway. Uh, dividing it. Yeah. The wires would have come up to about this high, do you think? About there, do you reckon? Or higher than that? Up to about there, do you reckon? No, I can't tell you that. No. 
What made you say about the electric thinning it? What? Oh no, no, I was just wondering when you painted it. Right. There, there was no, some of them you put the wires in. Yeah, there. some of them might, yeah. yeah. I just didn't like right. that one because it spoiled the picture. Mm -hmm. but I'm going to do another painting actually of it and I might, might put a few wires and make it look um, just in the top corner. Yeah, right. Yeah. But it's all gone now, too. Yes, that's, that's right. Yeah. So, you were station master when you were there. Do you yeah. tell me, what, what would you like to tell me about the day to day running of it? Anything you'd like to share with me? No, it was just a normal station, eh? But uh, except we had, you know, we accepted goods and parcels. Right. As well as selling tickets. When you say you accepted goods and parcels, what do you mean? People could bring you stuff? Could I bought your parcel there or not? Yeah, like you send away someone, yeah. Right. So, not like a post office? Just through the railway? Oh, no, yeah, nothing to do with the post office. No. Yeah. So, if I wanted to bring you um, a box of whatever, for you to send to Gimpy, you could mm. have done that for me. Yeah. And I would have paid you the money. Yeah. That's uh, a little bit unusual then, is it? Not me. Oh, no, no, no. But oh, there was... Other stations around? Other stations did it, yeah. Do they still uh, do it now? No. No. No, no, they couldn't then because I, I didn't know about that. Casey Ridge, I believe, is the only place now. Yeah. Then you ring them up and they come and yeah. pick it up by the truck. Okay. So if I wanted to send a suitcase when you were there yeah. to Gimpy, yeah. how much would that have cost me? Probably. Oh, yeah. well, we no idea? You lost <laughs> touch? Yeah, we lost touch. Yeah, yeah right. That's fair enough. <laughs> Just trying to get some idea. No? Is that right? Mm. Oh, that. So when did that stop? After you left? Oh, yeah, yeah. After yeah, you yeah, left. Yeah. Must have been fairly recently. We were fairly busy there because we had uh, a loading ramp that you could put drive up a car onto a wagon and, yeah. and caravan. Mm -hmm. It was fairly... Well, it was busy in them times. Chesney caravans were active in them times. Mm -hmm. And they used to load about six caravans a day. Okay. Uh, PTH was, used to send away a lot of bricks. Where is, the where is the loading ramp in relationship to that painting? It uh, north of there, on the yeah, north of there, and if you were going north by train, would be on the left hand side. But there, it was it was busy. Mm. It was chalk. I it was went there. It was chalk. A shock. A shock. Because shock to the system. Yeah. Was it because it was a big commitment for I, you? I always wondered why I ever got the jobs. See, I was out in a little town near Warwick and they closed it down. So uh, I applied for Strathpine as, as well as others yes. and I often wondered why I never got the job. Mm. It only took me about three months to work it out. Why did you get it? It was that busy, yeah. no staff, virtually no staff and no, no extra money. Seems but like you had a pretty rough road all the way through the railway. Was. What with the tents and landing <laughs> oh, yeah. If one like that. We got paid every fortnight, so that was yeah. that was something. So did you have a lot of staff on, you know, a lot of staff to run that? When I first went there there was three of us. Right. When I left there was six. Yeah, still but it lot. backed down to very few now because all they do is uh, sell tickets. Yeah. Nothing else. That's right. And even the tickets have changed, so I don't know whether you've you've seen a railway ticket, haven't you? Yes, yes, I go on the railway quite a bit, yeah, travelling to the city and that. Just little white tickets, aren't they? Oh, yeah, but, you? yeah, well, before that we had all these card tickets. That's right. You've yeah. seen one of them? Yeah. We had to stamp them. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we, uh, we used to get them out from the auto office and, and bundles thousands of tickets. Yeah. And you were expected to go through the bundles and make sure every ticket was there. Really? Yeah. Were well, they all numbered, were they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we were a strict, strict uh, audit system. But anyhow, that's what, uh, that's what we had, three. Were there any pets or anything on that station? Pets. Pets? Dogs? Cats? No. I know a lot of railway men have had a lot of pets. I've been no, talking to different people no. about different animals they've had. Budgies and dogs and cats. <laughs> yeah, all no. sorts of stories. <laughs> no. No, that's no. fine. Well, it was rather funny, but when I first went there, it, it, it was the uh, fashion. Fellas always had long hair. You know, they get around yeah. here like yours. Yeah. And the ticket window was rather low. And on a Monday morning in them days, uh, the weekly tickets, they had two weekly tickets, one male, one female. Yes. And you couldn't sell a... Well, you, a female couldn't use a male ticket. They were different colours. Why was that? Well, I don't know. They've abandoned that idea now. Yeah. Uh, but these fellas with the long hair, you know, and all you could see with this long hair. 
Every time I'd come along, you'd say, you what? wouldn't know, was it? Male or female. Oh. Never had a clue what they were. No. So what colour were the ladies' tickets? Yeah, they were from Emory Yellow, I think. Right. And the men were green, I right. think. But they were banned in that idea. Was yeah. that all over Queensland, all your other stations? That was pretty uniform for ladies and men to have different colour tickets? I or? never struck it. No, just because it was on this line, you reckon? Yeah, well, in the spur of an area. Yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, not See, yeah. that's interesting. I hadn't come across that before. Yeah. Yeah, well, I saw a paper, a roll of paper now, and that's it. Yeah. I wonder when this overhead bridge was constructed. That was there. Or that was there when I went there. Yeah. Yeah. Although they did lift it up. But when when they, was there? When they put the wires in there, it was amazing. If ever you walked over it, it's a big concrete construction. Right. And they well, lifted it up with giant cranes. Was you there when they did that? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Did they have to close the, the railway down for that day? Or? No, no, no. They did it in between trains, I believe. On a Sunday, I think it might have been. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a massive effort. I wonder how many feet they had to lift it. I don't know. No. I'd be guessing. Yeah. So you'd be able to see the new concrete steps now. They've obviously lifted it and put in new concrete steps. They put steps. in ex extensions, yeah. Steps to ones at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, because Good walking. Yeah. Good exercise. Yeah. Yeah, so. so on the other side of the railway track now, not on the Goopy Road side, on the other side, where there's all that warehouse industrial bit now, mm. that would have just been paddocks, would it? There was a little bit of industry there. Was there? Yeah. yeah. But boy, it's grown now, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Was the rest of it cow paddocks and things, just waste marshland, was it? Do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you, you think you can tell me, Mr. Pine? Let's just look at this for a moment. Yep. Um, we're looking at the painting now with the signal box adjoined to it. Mm -hmm. The far right hand side of that little building on the end in the windows, what, what was that behind there? The uh, toilets. Yeah, the toilets. Yeah. And then we've got, yeah. this is the waiting that's area. The waiting room, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that big dark area in the middle. Yep. And then you come across to, are they signs were they? I think they were. They're not windows are they? No, no. No, that's a little window there though. That's a it? ticket window, yeah. That's a ticket window where you bought your tickets from? No, no. When I first went there, it, there was one window in the waiting room where right. you sell tickets. Right. But as it got busier and busier and yeah. busier, yeah. they put another ticket window on the platform. Right. So we could split the... Which is this one? Passengers up. That's the one we use for uh, weeklies on Monday morning. Right. And this door here? That was the office door. That's the office. And then you come across the signal cabin. And you can come in round the side here. You used to go down these steps here, did you? That's right. We had steps there. Yeah. Down and up again, was it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. And the car park behind. And these big old trees. Oh, I can't remember what sort of trees. I suppose they'd still be there, would they? I don't know. I can't remember. So you, you must have taken that a long time ago. 93. Exactly as it was, because I don't put anything in that wasn't there. <laughs> I can't remember trees here. Yeah. Real close to the station. Yeah, they would have been exactly that height and everything. Right. Yeah. When we first went there, there was a couple of big trees, mm. but they were pulled down real mm. early in the piece. Yeah. No, I think you reckon that might be a cloud. No, 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 <laughs> that's a tree. I don't put anything there that's not there. That's something that I do. Everything, even these trees too. Everything could be there. Oh, yeah, of course. When they built the uh, car parks, they planted trees and shrubs. Mm -hmm. Well, so they would have been. They could have, yeah, yeah. Could have been that there. Yeah, it would have been that big because uh, I wouldn't have put it in otherwise. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why I had a garden down in the front. Did you? Not in that station, but in the, in the residence I had. Yeah. Nice garden. Mm -hmm. And what they do? They, built this car park for the end and they put a little pine bark on it mm. and they planted trees. Right. And guess what? The trees kept dying. Did they? I couldn't understand why. Why did they? <laughs> no. You use your imagination. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, as you know, there are trees there now because this is where the council buildings are. There's a lot of trees in this car park behind. Oh yeah, yeah. But there I didn't are. think they were that big. Yeah. Yeah, they die sometimes like that trees for some unknown reason. Yes. Hit the bamboos for a long time. Mm. So, um, can you remember anything else about Strathpine itself? What about the 
the roads through there. That's sort of two lanes up and two lanes back down now. Gibby Road. The old Gibby Road. Road. Yeah, well, you remember what was the main highway when yeah. we first went there? Right. Yeah, busy. Was yeah. it? Yeah. What? My wife wanted a bottle of lemonade when we first got there. Right. It took me 45 minutes to get up to the shop and back again. Because? Traffic. Yeah. That was before they built the Gimpy Road. The, the new yeah. bypass one, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's nearly as busy now as it was in them days, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was that busy. My assistant uh, used to drive a car from Brackenridge, yeah. and on Easter time, he would bring his car across the road. He would leave it over on the other side of the road because he couldn't ever get back again. Oh. It, at Easter time, it was just continual. Do you remember what year the freeway opened? You must have been able to remember a big change in the traffic. Oh yeah, there was for initially, yeah. Yeah, but see, it, it's, it's grown phenomenal. Yeah, so. what must have happened was the traffic must have stopped and people must have thought it was a desirable place to live, so the area built up all the houses. Is that what oh, happened? Oh, built up all right. Yeah, and yeah. then, of course, it's brought all the traffic back again, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, in that's the area. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's see, right. It's, it got that busy that they put that uh, overpass in. You still come through the railway crossing? And if you've been down there lately, there's an overpass from the yeah. industrial area. Think, oh, on yes. On Gibby Road. Yes. That hasn't been, it's been there a while, but yes. wasn't there when I left. No. So that's how busy it got. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it, the industries have grown there, haven't they? Yes, they have done. Yes. And Strathpine was your, that's when you retired then, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, thank you very much for that, Don. That oh, yeah, I can't tell you anything other interesting facts. No, that's fine. Thank you very much.